Welcome back to my mini series for first time buyers, repeat buyers, investors, honestly, buyers in general. My name is Diana. I'm a licensed agent in Southern California and I am sharing and dishing everything that I've learned in the last few years with you guys. So today I want to talk to you guys about contingency periods and I essentially walk my buyers through this and I explain to them that a contingency period is a safety net. I don't know if you've ever bungee jumped or done high ropes or zip lined but you're harnessed to something for a specific purpose and that is to keep you safe so we want to keep your earnest money deposit which is sitting in escrow um, until it's ready right until the transaction is moving in the right direction and you are getting one step closer to closing on your home so there are three safety nets to keep that money in escrow safe and those are going to be the inspection appraisal and loan contingency as you're doing your due diligence, again, you are buying a house as is. If there's anything that comes up during the transaction, you can talk about it with your agent. You can find a way to negotiate through it um, so that you can, again, remove your contingencies as the contingency periods start um, coming up. There are due dates per your contract, so you want to make sure that you talk to your agent about 